All right, guys, thought I'd drop a little video because I'm not streaming tonight. I know you can't go a day without me and you're going to miss me. Probably not. Anyway, we're going to get into it. another Habib news story. Uh, yesterday, we covered the terrorism. He was linked to a terrorist, a terrorist and uh, he ended up killing some priests on the weekend. Now, we've got some more news about Saudi Arabia and the offers that they've made to Habib. I found this video. It could be clickbait. Uh, there could be something into it. So we're going to check that out now. Um, I'll do a little cover on it. Uh, breaking shocking news. It's from Young and Faded MMA Society. Habib's comeback fight at welterweight after Dana and Trump convince him. So we're going to have a look into it. Russian mainstream and social media channels are actively reporting on Khabib's comeback as reportedly Dana White. Okay, just, just to confirm, uh, he, he, they're saying uh, Russian news media... Uh, uh, Breaking news about Abib and come, he's coming back to fight, fight at welterweight. I've done some research into it and I couldn't find any articles, but I didn't deep dive into it and look at any Russian uh, outlets, media outlets. So uh, something that we we should probably do. But I thought I'd bring this to everyone's attention. See if anyone else, I know Shotgun and a few other guys, um, Western, you, you're quite hot on with these things. See if you can do some digging. See if you can go into the Russian media outlets and find any information on, on this. Donald Trump and certain Arab sheiks have teamed up to bring the eagle back to the octagon. According to the most recent reports, all parties are working hard on making the comeback fight happen. Quote, Khabib is getting generous. We could say really generous offers from Arab sheiks who are ready to print out even a billion dollars to get Khabib to fight. A billion dollars. I've heard that madness. So I think they reported, they, they reported um, it was at 150 million. I think they, they say, but a billion dollars to come back. Wouldn't surprise me, you know, because the money that the Saudis would make on a Beeb return would be a, quite a bit. But they're willing to spend a bit more and lose a bit more to establish themselves in the combat sports arena. So a name like Abib Numagomedov would be big for the Saudis. It would be absolutely massive. They want the biggest fights, the best fights. They want to be known as the, the, the country to go for combat sports. And the guys that are willing to put the money where their mouths are, and I think I think a billion's a stretch. I think that would probably be with, uh, you know, how much they're willing to spend on the, the all package, you know, the arena, the events, the, you know, getting getting the UFC, they'd probably have to pay the UFC a fee um, and pay, um, not a signing fee, but um, a fighting fee for Habib to come back, maybe. that That's probably what we're looking at, 150 to 200 million as reported. Khabib's team has confirmed the news, stating that they're receiving very generous offers almost daily from Saudis, who are the biggest fans of Khabib, and they're ready to pay those gigantic sums of money. And Dana White is on their side. Some very influential people in Saudi Arabia are ready to pay 150 million. By influential people, they'll probably be on about Tia Kal Sheikh. Um, he's the big mover, the, his excellency. He's the big mover in Saudi Arabia that's responsible for bringing the UFC and the Tyson Fury versus Usyk fight to Saudi Arabia, among others. Uh, yeah, so he'll be the guy working on this, putting out the offers. And I, I reckon there's some big offers out there, big offers that they've sent to Habib. Million US dollars to Khabib for his comeback. What was that? In addition, are ready to pay 150 there million US dollars to Khabib for his comeback. In addition to this, recently... 150 million. That, that, I reckon we're probably looking at 200. I reckon, I reckon Habib takes it. I reckon, I reckon he takes it. He's got the tax issues. He's got his name linked to terrorists. He's going to need clear his name a little bit and come back and prove. Yeah, I think he'll have something to fight for and not necessarily fighting and the money, but the good that he can do with the money and, you know, kind of like clearing his name and, you know, putting his name back in the spotlight for good reasons and not bad reasons. Uh, but, yeah, mate, mate, I can't see him turning it down. Dana White met with Donald Trump in a private gathering with some of his supporters. Regarding the subject, Trump said the following, this will be a tremendous fight and we will all be watching. The best... Okay, so Trump, Trump's been involved, Dana's been involved, the Saudi Arabians have been involved, Turkey Al-Sheikh, Al I'd imagine. 
Um, the all pressing on it'd be to come back. Who would he fight? Probably the welterweight champ at the time, whether it's Leon, Balal, Shavkat, JDM, it'll be whoever's the champion. Fighter in the world, pound for pound, this will be big. End quote. The news sent a shockwave of excitement throughout the MMA enthusiasts in Russia, and heated discussions on the possibilities are ongoing in various discussions on social media and other platforms. I've not heard it being talked about, if I'm being honest. This is the only thing that I've seen so far about it. Um, I'm going to have to have a look in a minute to see if we can find any of those Russian media outlets that the reporting on. If Khabib is truly coming back, who is he going to fight next? The most likely scenario is him going for the welterweight title against the winner of Edwards versus Muhammad, though we shall see how things develop. Yeah, I'd, I'd imagine it would be Edwards versus Bellal. Right, let's have a look. Russia media outlets. Um, Abib, let's. Numagomedov. Although I won't be able to understand it five days ago. Meeting fighting Russian Numagomedov. Let's check on the news. Um, Habib Nurmagomedov, come back. I know the, these are from earlier this year that he was offered 40 million to come back, but I've not heard of the 150 million price tag. Let's see. Not even UFC 300 could allow Abib Nurmagomedov out of retirement. Mike Tyson in talks for 150 million. Ah, okay. What's this? That was back. Abib offered 150 million to fight Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather in Saudi Arabia. Are they just drawing it? Old, old news. Are they just, are they baiting? Are they baiting and they found old news articles that they're getting this from? Because, quite frankly, I can't find anything. But some results may have been removed under data protection law in Europe, as we know. Um, but maybe anyone else can find some information about this. This was released yesterday, I believe, 18 hours ago. So if anyone's got any further news on this comeback, let me know. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.